Well, we're here on the campus of OCC with Ron Carter, and uh, welcome to Syracuse. Welcome back to Central New York. It's Thank familiar you, turf for you, isn't it? I was here for a while, 55 through 59 at, the at Eastman School of Music, University of Rochester. What's it mean to you to be back on a college campus uh, reaching this kind of audience? Well, it's nice to see people who are this age category either finally becoming interested in the jazz or being aware of this new music that they want to come by and spend some time with, an hour and a half or so tonight to see how this music can affect their life. How does it affect their lives? How do you connect with, with people that are you know, 16, 20 years old with jazz? Well, I think the first thing they do is learn to concentrate for a longer period of time. And secondly, we always hope that when, we, when they leave us, they take away a melody, which is not too often the case these days. Do you find it that they don't have a, a long enough attention span and, and that they're not having enough melody in, in today's music? Well, those who come to our concerts have learned that we're going to play, in this case, uh, 75 minutes without intermission. You know, and and uh, they're prepared to hear this our 75 minute story. You know, I, I sit there with a concert and plan in my head what kind of story do I want us to tell tonight? And I make the music based along that kind of story. What keeps you uh, fresh? You, you've been world famous and extraordinarily accomplished for, for your entire adult life in this. But what keeps you fresh in, in working and keeping at this craft? I grew up real fast. <laughs> That's a terrible story, isn't it? Uh, well, you know, one of the things that makes me keep trying to do this music is every day I hear a different story. And I think I can't make my week complete until I have a chance to tell this story to more people than live in my building. Mm -hmm.